Hey what is up everyone this is Abhishek and welcome back to another exciting video on this channel. In this video we are going to learn how to create some really nice bouncy text reveal animation in After Effects. You can use this technique to reveal text animation from any side from top or sideways. As you can see that it looks very good and at the same time it's very easy to create. Alright with that being said if you guys are new here please consider subscribing and make sure to turn on post notifications. I upload tutorials and templates on this channel related to motion graphics, video editing and some other stuff so you guys don't want to miss that out. So let's jump straight into this video and get started. Alright so right now I'm in After Effects and we are going to create a new composition. So let's go to composition, new comp and I'm going to call this main. Make sure the width and height are 1920 by 1080. Frame rate you can go with 60 fps and duration 10 seconds. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to create another composition. Let's call this text one and make sure the rest of the things are same just click on ok after that select this text one composition and press ctrl d to duplicate it so that we have two text compositions now let's go to the text one composition and we are going to type our text so you can type whatever you want so for this example i am going to type motion in this composition and let's quickly place it in the center of this comp something like this and i'm going to open up the second text comp and over here I am going to type graphics something like this and just quickly align it in the center of this composition something like this and so over here you can see that we have our both the text now I am going to insert both of these text composition into our main comp so let's just quickly select these and insert them into the main composition something like this now I'm going to select the text tool and I'm going to type motion graphics over here so that we can have a base layer to match these texts. So just simply type motion space graphics. This is completely up to you. You can type whatever you want and let's just quickly place it in the center of this composition. Something like this and now let's place it below all these layers and I'm going to make this of red color. So quickly search for fill effect and just simply drag on top of this layer so that it has this nice red color. Now I'm going to select the first layer which is text one and I'm going to move it using the arrow keys so that it aligns with the motion graphic text something like this and I'm going to do the same thing with the text two, and just quickly align it so that both the texts are aligned with each other something like this. Now we're pretty much done with the alignment of the text so we can delete this motion graphics text if you want or you can simply hide it so let's just delete it because we do not need it for now so now we have our text over here and our next step is to animate it so in order to do that we are going to create a null so to do that you can go to layer new and over here you can click on create null or you can use my script uh, which is this quick new just simply click on this end button and it will create a null object something like this and let's just quickly align it so let's make all the layers 3d by clicking on this button and in case you are not able to see it you can click on these buttons and it will enable these panels so over here just simply click on this 3d icon and it will make your layers 3d now switch your camera mode from active to top something like this so over here you can see that all the layers are aligned in one plane and you can click on this button so that you can see it clearly and now i'm going to select the null layer and i'm going to drag it in the z space something like this so let's move it around here so that our text layers are in front of the null object now i'm going to select the null and press ctrl d to duplicate it so that we have two null layer and i'm going to quick quickly rename them null1 and null2 so that we can parent both of these text to individual null objects now let's switch back to our active camera and we can enable the background now let's align colors to these layers so just simply select this null 2 and text 2 and I'm going to make them green and select the null 1 and text 1 and let's make it pink like this and now we are going to animate our null so before that let's quickly parent them so in order to do that you can simply select the text 1 and pick whip and just simply parent it to the null 1 in the same way select the text 2 and pick whip and parent it to the null 2 in case you are not able to see this column you can right click then go to column and from here you can check this button so over here we have our full scene setup now our next step is to animate this so in order to do that i'm going to select both of these null then press r on the keyboard for rotation and we are going to rotate them along the y axis so just simply select the y 
keyframes and then click on the stopwatch so that it will add keyframe to both of these layers then again select both of these layers then press u to hide all the keyframes then again press u so that only the y rotation keyframes are visible and in the beginning we want the keyframes to be something around let's change their position so i'm going to make it move to rotate around 80 degree so something like this and for the null 2 we are going to do the opposite side so let's change its value to negative 80 so that both the objects are pointing in the opposite direction and if i play back here you can see that now both of them are moving towards each other like this so if i play back here you can see that we have the basic animation going on now in order to add some bouncy effect to it you can either animate these keyframes one by one by simply moving them further apart something like this and then again moving them closer to each other and just keep on doing that by adding keyframes like that and so that you can have some nice bounce effect or you can use expressions so for this example we are going to use expression because it's quite faster and looks very nice in that way so i'm using this expression uh, which is from this website called motion scripts it's called so if you scroll here you can see that it has this keyframe bounce back expression so you can copy this expression from the website uh, i will put a link in the description below from where you can copy this just simply select this from the starting from e and till their value just simply select and copy it and now we are going to add it to the rotation so in order to add the keyframe expression to the keyframe just simply hold the alt or option key on mac then click on this stopwatch and from here you can simply control plus v to paste the values just simply do the same things with the y rotation control plus v to paste the values so if i play back here you can see that nothing is happening because we still have to tweak our keyframes so let's quickly do that i'm going to make some space so that you guys can see so over here you can see that we have these three values e g n and max so what these represent e is for elastic g is for gravity and n max decide how many times you want the bounce effects to occur so the maximum value is nine so you can set it to whatever you want and we're going to tweak e and g value for this example so let's make the e value to something like 0.5 and change the g value to something like 500 and let's just quickly do the same thing with this one 0.5 and 500 like this so if i play back here you can see that now we have some sort of animation going on but still it's not that good so in order to do that we are going to select all the layers press u so that everything is collapsed then select both of these layers press u again to reveal the keyframes and i'm going to move these last keyframes so these keyframes will decide how faster these objects will collide and how faster the bounce back effect will occur so the closer these keyframes are the faster the effect will so if i move them really close to these keyframes and if i play back here you can see that now our animation is happening and we have some really extreme bounce effect going on and if i select these keyframes and move them further apart something like this and now if i play back here you can see that we have very little bounce effect in the middle of these two texts so let's just move these keyframes to something around 24 frames and now if i play back here you can see that we have some really nice bounce effect going on so you can tweak these more by simply going under the properties and over here you can play around with these values so you can change the e value to something like 0.2 and if i change the value over here to let's change this value to 0.2 and you can change the g to something like 300 let's do that over here too and now if i play back here you can see that we have some different effect and in the same way you can play around with the nmax value and all other that so this is completely experimental up to you so you can play around with these values to have some really nice effect so for this example i'm going with 0.5 and 500 so that's for this example and let's tweak these keyframes more so select these keyframes again press u on the keyboard now in order to uh, get some more realistic bounce effect you can select these starting keyframes make sure to select these keyframes only then press f9 to easy ease them and if i go into the graph editor over here you can see that we have this kind of graph in case your graph editor looks different you can click on this button make sure you are in the speed and value graph just click on that and over here you can see that we have this sort of graph and so i can select these starting points and i can grab these handles to make the graph look something like this and now if i play back here you can see that now our text comes from really slow and then it quickly snaps into the position and then it does the bounce effect 
so over here you can see that we have this really nice bounce effect and in the same way you can select these keyframes and move them in the opposite direction so if now if i play back here you can see that now we have a smoother animation and over here you can see that we have some subtle bounce effect going on so you can play around with these keyframes to have some different values just make sure to easy is only these keyframes not these ones so if you easy is these keyframes and if i play back here you can see that now nothing is happening no matter where you move these keyframes so make sure these keyframes are linear and these are easy -eased. so over here you can see that we have this sort of animation and the best thing about this animation is you can quickly change the text so if i want to type whatever i want i can go into the composition so if i want to type motion nations i can go to this next comp and type motion nations and if i come back here you can see that we have the updated text but the only problem is now you have to align the text so that it looks good so over here we can just simply select the one and just move it closer to nations and then select this nation text and move it closer to motion so if i play back here you can see that now we have motion nations text and all the animations are already applied so this is how you guys can create some really nice bouncy effect and in the same way uh, just like i did with the y axis you can do the same effect in these x axis so let me quickly show you how to do that so just simply select the main composition press ctrl c then press ctrl v to copy it or you can press ctrl d to duplicate it now let's go to the main two and over here we are going to just change the positions of the text so let's quickly select these objects and make sure these are not 3d and i'm going to align them in the center of this composition again just like we did earlier and i'm going to place one text on top of each other because we want this time we want the text to be like coming from the top and bottom something like this so just quickly place them something around here and let's quickly go to the top view and i'm going to make them 3d again so over here you can see that now our text layer is somewhere around here i'm going to select it and move it in the z space so that it's in the middle tell of this composition somewhere around here and again i'm going to select both of these null object then press u so over here you can see that we have the y keyframes and i'm going to delete them because we are going to now animate the x axis so just simply delete these keyframes press r to reveal the keyframes for the x axis and i'm going to add keyframes for that and in the same way we are going to animate the values for the x-axis so let's go back to the active camera make sure your text is already parented to the null object and let's just quickly align these so in the first keyframe we are going to set its value to again something around negative 80 and for this one let's go with positive 80 so if i play back here you can see that we have this type of animation then again we are going to copy the keyframe so drop down the y expression then simply ctrl plus c to copy the keyframe and then go back to the x keyframe alt and then click on this stopwatch then ctrl plus v to paste the keyframes and just do the same thing so alt click and then ctrl plus v to paste the keyframes so if i select all the layers press u to cl close them up so if i play back here you can see that we have again created the x same animation but this time we are animating it along the x axis so let's just quickly move these keyframes really close to each other something like this so if i play back here you can see that we have some really nice bouncy effect and again we can select these keyframes press f9 to easy ease them then we can tweak around with these handles to make them or look something really nicer something like this and if i play back here you can see that we have some really nice fast animation going on you can obviously place these keyframe further apart if you want smoother animation something like this the closer these are the faster the animation will be and the more bouncy effect it will have something like this so you can throw in some images so let's just quickly do that and just simply throw some images in the background something like this you can animate its scale something like this and then lower down its transparency so over here you can see that we have this sort of animation and you can obviously apply fill effect to these text something like this so over here you can see that you have your animated text going on now again the best thing about this technique is you can easily go into this text and you can change it to whatever you want so if i type elon musk 
and if i go back and if i play back here you can see that our text has been changed and every animation is already applied so you do not have to worry about that so this is how you guys can create some really nice realistic bouncy text reveal animation in after effects i hope you guys learned something from this video and if you guys have any queries or question you can ask me in the comments below with that being said this is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one